The British Army is set to significantly boost its long-range artillery capabilities by doubling its fleet of M270 Multiple Launch Rocket Systems, MLRS, by 2029. This expansion aligns with NATO's increased focus on enhancing indirect fire capabilities in response to evolving global security threats, including observations from the ongoing conflict in Ukraine. Currently, the British Army operates 29 M270 MLRS platforms, which are equipped with guided multiple launch rocket systems, GMLRS, munitions that provide precision long-range strike capabilities. These systems can target enemy positions up to 70 kilometers away, giving the UK a critical advantage in terms of reach and firepower. However, the military aims to reinforce its long-range artillery units by acquiring an additional 31 launchers, alongside new vehicles already in production. This will increase the total fleet to 76 launchers by the end of the decade. The additional M270 vehicles come from a variety of sources, including decommissioned units from allied nations and military displays that have been restored to operational status. Norway, in particular, has contributed launchers as part of a trilateral security arrangement involving the UK and Ukraine. While many of these vehicles will require significant modernization, particularly upgrades to the A2 variant, their acquisition marks a vital step in bolstering the UK's strike capabilities. The UK has already committed to modernizing its existing fleet of M270 launchers. In 2022, it was announced that nine of the British Army's M270S would be upgraded to the A2 variant under a $32 million contract. The modernization process, led by Lockheed Martin, includes installing new engines, enhancing the cabin design, and integrating advanced fire control systems to bring the M270 in line with the M142 High Mobility Artillery Rocket System, HIMARS. This will enhance their operational effectiveness, autonomy, and survivability in modern combat environments. The A2 variant is an important upgrade, offering improved digital systems, faster targeting, and extended service life. It is expected that the modernization of these launchers will be completed by 2026, after which the newly acquired M270 vehicles will undergo similar upgrades. This expansion of the M270 MLRS fleet is particularly timely given the UK's recent donation of over half its AS-90 Braveheart 155mm self-propelled howitzers to Ukraine, which has left a gap in the country's artillery resources. To address this shortfall, the British Army has temporarily acquired 14 Archer 155mm howitzers from Sweden, but these are seen as an interim solution. In the longer term, the UK is awaiting delivery of the RCH 155 self-propelled howitzers, currently under development with Germany. By doubling its M270 fleet, the UK will reinforce its indirect fire capabilities, addressing concerns about the availability and sustainability of long-range artillery. This move will not only restore balance to the UK's artillery units but also provide a powerful complement to future systems like the RCH 155. The expansion and modernization of the M270 MLRS fleet reflect a broader trend across NATO toward enhancing long-range strike capabilities. Lessons learned from the war in Ukraine have underscored the importance of having reliable, precision-guided artillery systems capable of striking deep behind enemy lines. The M270 MLRS, often considered a tracked version of HIMARS, is highly valued for its versatility and firepower. Capable of launching 12 rockets in under 60 seconds, it can deliver sustained fire missions from a protected, armored platform. Each vehicle is equipped with two pods, each housing six rockets, which can be reloaded autonomously without exposing the crew to external threats. By extending the service life of its M270 fleet until at least 2050, the British Army ensures that it remains well prepared for future conflicts requiring high-precision, long-range artillery solutions. As the UK's artillery capabilities expand, the British Army is likely to undergo a significant restructuring of its long-range artillery units. With 61 M270 MLRS platforms already on order and more expected by 2025, the Army is poised to become one of Europe's leading operators of advanced rocket artillery systems. In addition to strengthening its own capabilities, the UK continues to support Ukraine in its defense efforts, supplying advanced systems that are crucial for resisting aggression. The British Army's long-term investment in the M270 MLRS not only enhances its firepower but also reinforces the UK's commitment to NATO's collective defense strategy. By 2029, the British Army's M270 MLRS will form a core part of the UK's long-range strike capacity, providing a versatile, powerful solution to meet the challenges of modern warfare.